Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and thank you so much for being here. Today we've got a little haul. Five boxes, we'll go through them quickly. I will put all of the information down below for you for all of them. We have a candle and nail products and undies and jewelry and a beautifully themed lifestyle box. So let's dig right in. First, we're gonna start with mint mongoose. I will put a link to them down below, but like I have said the last couple of months, they changed it up over there, and I don't have a code anymore because you don't need one because your first month is free except for shipping and handling, and I don't think I've ever had a code that's come anywhere near beating that. Get this out of its little bag. That is what it looks like on the back. We have our little card. Each month, this is themed by a story. She chooses something that speaks to her to something that happened in her life. She tells us that on the card so that the jewelry has some meaning. Also, when you go over and check it out and you sign up, you can choose whether you want a necklace and earrings, a necklace and a bracelet, whether you want all three, if you want silver, gold, rose gold, you wanna mix it up. You make all of the choices when you go over and sign up. And this month is with clouds come breathtaking sunsets. And that is what everything's gonna look like. And the rest of the card describes all of that to us. Each month, you also have a little Werther's Original in your envelope, and then a package of your jewelry. And I came without packages, boxes, or bows. No, without <laughs> earrings. So we will dig right in. I have the earrings first. They look gorgeous, and they look just like the earrings that I like to wear. These are gorgeous. Show it up close. That is what it looks like. It looks exactly like me and something I would choose to wear. I do like a French wire, too. That is a gorgeous. Isn't that pretty? It's subtle, but it's still something there that you can see with longer hair. That is what they look like. It's so pretty. I like those a lot. Those are definitely, those are 100% me. Okay, let's see what they gave us for a necklace to go with it, because that's my choice. I prefer a necklace and earrings. I'm not much of a bracelet girl. I always say when I am not taping my videos, generally speaking, I'm wearing my Fitbit, so I don't often put bracelets on. I do wear them. I mean, special occasions come up, things like that, but generally speaking, I'm a necklace and earrings girl. This is pretty. That's what it looks like. It's just kind of pink. I'm sure a faux stone, but it's very pretty. With all of her necklaces, you have, I, I always say, I think this is probably a 16, and then that's a three or four inch extender. So I would say, generally speaking, they probably go from 16 to 20 inches. I should really measure that. long for you guys to see, I'll lean back. That's pretty with this. I like that a lot because it's just a plain back shirt. It's very nice pretty so it matches the earrings very nicely i will put all of the information for mint mongoose down below like i said i don't have a code because you don't need one your first month is free you just pay the shipping and handling and i'm sure i said it but this is sent to me for review next we have our vela box and that is what it looks like this is the bigger they have three sized candles it is an artisan candle subscription and i will put my link and my discount code below with my code katherine 50 you will get 50 percent off your first box I'll put that again below. But the beauty of this is it's artisan candles. They work with new candle makers each month and they are clean candles. No paraffins, no phthalates, none of the toxin type things that you're putting into your air. I've gone to them almost exclusively, you guys know. I used to do a lot of bath and body works candles and I just don't do them anymore. I really prefer knowing I'm not putting that in the air, especially with my grandkids. That is what my December box looks like. That canvas is so cute. Oh my gosh, this would be so pretty with a gift in it. I don't know what I'm gonna put in it, maybe a gift card, but this would be perfect for that. Each month we also get a bonus. This month's bonus is oversized flannel. It is a hand cream, mahogany, woods, sweet amber, bergamot, musk, and palo santo. That's what that looks like. We'll see what it smells like. Oh, it smells really, really good. Busy opening boxes down here. My hands could use a little love. Um, by the way, you don't have to take the lid off like I did. Just saying. Let's see how it smells on me. See if it absorbs quickly. Also something else that has to happen. It has a, if you are sensitive to scents, this is not perfect for you. It has a, it has a very robust scent, but it's very pretty. I like, well, you know what? It's dissipating a little bit. So I would say once you get the initial, it dissipates. It smells really nice and it has absorbed. Love that. Let's get to the candle. I just love it. I, start, I used to say each month, oh, look, it's another pretty one. They used to come in plain canvas, just a uh, canvas colored canvas. And now they come in these gorgeous designs kind of seasonally now. That is so pretty. And my candle, when you sign up for this, you will fill out a profile and they will ask you, you know, your favorite scents, your favorite flavors. Do you prefer gourmand? Do you prefer floral? 
so many questions to be sure that they send you the right candle each month because there's generally two or three from each person that they work with. This is holiday cheer are the big words. I'm not gonna read the little words so we can guess at what it smells like. I love the aesthetic of that. That is really pretty. All right, also for the winter, I do love the darker jars. Oh, that is very pretty. I will never guess that scent. <laughs> I'm not sure what it is. Something very fruity and bright. I can't do it. I'm so bad at this. Okay, there's no point in me guessing. I, something fruity and bright, but if there is an underlying Christmas. Maybe there's a little bit of balsam or fur in it. Let's see what the paperwork says. I can tell you the front of the candle says, oh, it was a really odd font. Pomegranate, rosemary, peppermint. Well, pomegranate exp explains that bright fruit, I said. I could agree <laughs> that there is an herb scent to it, which is probably the rosemary. I, personally, I'm not getting peppermint. It could have a completely different throw once it's burning though. They say it is sweet, spice, and herbal. Holiday Cheer mixes the full burst of pomegranate with the sophistication of rosemary and a peppermint twist just to keep it lively. It's the holiday party your senses wanted without the awkward dance moves <laughs> like they know me. I don't get that peppermint. It's gonna be very nice. It's lovely and I have I have shown you guys the pictures in the past. I won't keep showing it every month, but I have one of those candle warmers that you can put your candle under and it's the light and just that warms it. It doesn't even melt it. I haven't even used one of these long enough that I have had to pour wax off to revitalize the wax that's being thrown into the room and it it's a fantastic throw. I like that candle a lot in the evenings if we're coming and going from the kitchen, it gives us a little light. I especially light it if we're, you know, now that it's dark at what, 2.30? <laughs> okay, I'm being a tad dramatic. But <laughs> when we're coming back, if it's gonna be after five, we know it's gonna be dark and I want lights on. Instead of leaving the huge kitchen light on now, I turn on the candle warmer because it's got such a good light to it. So when I come in, it's not only light, it smells really good. I love this candle. I am an affiliate. I think I said that already. Let me say it again. I always want you guys to know what is sent to me for free, what I am an affiliate, am an affiliate with Velabox. I will put the information down below. I get the, this is the 16 ounce candle. They also have it in eight and four. You can pick the size that you think you're gonna go through in a month or whatever suits your lifestyle. Next we have our monthly heavens panty. I will put the information down below with this too. It is sent to me for review. You will receive for $13, one pair of panties every month, but, you will also receive a $13 credit in your account that you can then go into their store and spend. So you're still spending the $13, but technically you're getting the 13 back to spend in their store. Which I have always thought was really fun and different. I can tell mine are gonna be pretty blue and lacy. This is another one that you go in and customize. You tell them whether you want them to be silky and polyester -y or whether you want them to be cotton, whether you want a thong or a boy short or a brief, whether you're pregnant, whether you want them for a workout and exercise. They ask a lot of questions so that you will get the panties that are best for you. And they have updated their sizing and they do carry it a little bit larger now. These feel, these feel so silky, sexy, soft. They feel really nice. <sighs> this is one of the ones that back in the day would have made me blush really hard. I'd doesn't make me blush as much anymore. That is, what's better, Christmas tree or me? Probably me, because I'm light. That is really cute. So it's, it's thong, that's the back. <laughs> I'm really bad at this thong situation. Is that true? Yeah, so I don't think technically, I don't think you would technically call, technically call this a thong. What would you call it? Because it is, this is the front and it's normal. And then this is the back, that's, I mean, I don't think you would technically call that a thong. Hipster brief? I did. It's very nice and it feels very pretty. I will put all of the information down below for Heaven Panty. They do different incentives. A lot of times when you sign up, your first month is free and then you get the $13. Monthly, you get to spend in their store. I have done that. I did an unboxing a few months ago where I got so much stuff from the store. It was really cool. But I will put all of the information down below so you can go over and check Next up. I just have a maniology order. Just spent my own money on it. It's maniology. I thought I would mention it since I do do their subscription box monthly. That's the last thing I did with my nails. I like it a lot. Can you tell they're snowflakes? It's not their red. It's a, um, this is one of the reds that I had in my FabFitFun subscription box. Can you tell that the white, I hope that that shows, 
those are snowflakes. I just thought it looked kind of festive. I don't love it. I love all of the products. I don't love my design choice. Only because when I hold my hand like that and you guys can see the design, it looks fine. But I chose to do the white, just I wanted, I thought about doing them like a French tip, but then I decided to pull it back a little bit. So when I glance at my nails, it looks like that's how long my nails are. I don't always see this bottom part. So it looks like my nails stop where that white is and it makes them look really short to me. They're still very pretty. I love doing the maniology. Maniology, in case you don't know, is uh, stamping nail design. You just paint your own nails however you would like to paint them. And then they have special creamy stamping polishes, a million tools that can make it easier. I just, I just started doing it and liked it. I am, I am an affiliate with them. I buy my own stuff. <laughs> I bought this, I pay for my monthly subscription, but I am an affiliate with them. And I just thought I would show you, I've been doing this a lot lately, so I have started getting things to make my life a little easier. This is one that I decided to get. I can't wait to do my nails again and use it. It is a silicone mat because the acetone is flying when you're doing this job. So I wanna be able to put my hand on it and set this on my table and not have to worry about it at all. Also, if you are far more clever than I am, it's got these fingers on it and you can practice the stamping you're gonna do so that you would know how you felt about it with the white line being back further. And, and again, this is people way further advanced than me. You can, I shouldn't even speak on this because I can't speak on it intelligently. You can do a base. I don't think you have to use a special base coat. I know that one of our friends stuff in here will let me know. I don't think you have to use a special ba base coat. I think you can just use a regular base coat and then you design on top of it and you should be able to peel it off of here with like tweezers and then cut it to fit your nail. And it's like making your own nail stickers. They're not called nail stickers. It's going great. It's going fine. How are you doing? Christmas has pretty much destroyed my brain, but you make your own press on nail stickers. You cut them to size and they fit. It's kind of fun. I needed this mostly to keep the acetone off everything. Also with winter here, I knew I don't have any, I have a Christmassy one, but I don't have any winter stamping ones. So I got this one and I actually <laughs> snuck it out of here the other day and it's what I used to do my nails. I used one of these short ones, this one, <laughs> I used this short one and used that to do my lines. But I figured to get me through the winter season, I would have a lot of snowflakes. And then this one is an actual Christmas one. The one that we got that was Christmassy in the Manny box, the Manny by me box. I love that box, by the way. I'll put the information for that below too. Is um, what they call it, Huga. It's, it's Christmassy, but it has a very specific design element to it that I'm not gonna want my nails to look like every week between now and Christmas. And I thought this just gave me some more options. So that's kind of fun. I'm also trying to learn new things. <laughs> it's very difficult. I am not impeccably crafty. That's what I always liked about. I have to count on pre-made things. That's what I always liked about my journaling and my scrapbooking, that kind of thing, because you use stickers and stamps and things that are already pre-designed. You're not free-handing stuff. This feels a little more free-handing, but all I have for a stamper is the one that I got originally that is the I think they call it the ice cube stamper because it's kind of rectangle shaped. And I see people out there, they say if you're gonna do a French tip, the best thing to do it with, and again, I know that there are people out there that know way more than me about this. This is just what I see from videos. They say the best thing to use for that is a monocle stamper. Honestly, I'm not sure why. I think it has to do with the size and the curve of the edges. So I chose a monocle stamper. Oh, it's gonna make things bigger too. Oh my gosh, I love that. That is very cool. And I got also a dual ended one, which is basically kind of like that, but just smaller. So it has that smaller size. And then it has this tiny size. Honestly, I probably could have used that for this line that I did on my fingers. And the curve might have worked better with the curve of my nail. I also got a whole pack. These are the things that when you've seen me do the videos, if you've seen it, you scrape. You know, you paint it with, and then you scrape it, and that leaves you with what you want. This is just a six pack of those scrapers. One of the things when I've had the girls here before, and we all like sit at the table and do our nails, this is what we needed more of. We managed to make, I have already, I think two or three of the ice cube stampers, and now I have these two new ones, but I thought we're gonna need more scrapers. I chose because 
it is one of the things I like to stamp in the most. I chose a black and a white just because I seem to use the white on color a lot. And the bottle that came with the original kit that I got was a half size bottle and I am running through that. So I thought, yeah, I'm gonna need more black and white. Also, I want the black because I wanna start doing the reverse stamping where you use black. <laughs> I almost can't speak intelligently on this. I'm having fun doing it, but I'm not real good at it yet. And I have so much to learn. That is what I chose for Maniology. And the last thing we're gonna open is my Fruit for Thought. Yay! Fruit for Thought is sent to me for review. I will put all of their information and my discount code down below for you. It's just fun. It used to be just fruits or vegetables. Each month was the theme, but she has expanded and does different themes now. So that's kind of fun. That's what it looks like when we open it up. Sometimes there's kitchen things, snacks, games, writing implements. All kind of jewelry, we had jewelry, I think. All kinds of goodies. This was the November box. So let's see what's in here. First on top, we have, oh, it's Bella Pierre lip mask, lip scrub, and it looks like probably, oh yeah, a lip balm, but it looks like it's in a gloss. That is super fun. I could actually use a scrub. <sighs> Scrubs are one of those things that I don't ever seem to finish. But you know, you're only supposed to use things like that for about a year. I think the open date on most of them is a year and I generally don't finish them in a year, but I do make myself throw them away because <laughs> my butt is going numb from sitting on the floor. Don't you feel better for knowing that? Because in, I'm in the shower and I'm poking my wet hand in it and I, I really feel like, kind of like mascara. I'm very stringent about my three month mascara thing. So all of that to say, yay, I could use a new lip scrub. Next out we have, I have no idea. If it was my husband's, I would guess it was a cigar because it looks like a cigar holder. <laughs> I'm gonna open it. Oh, oh, it's powder. Careful, it's powder. Oh, it smells like pumpkin, but okay. I'm gonna put the lid back on it. Catherine, Catherine, Catherine. It is, please don't be poison. Creamy nutmeg hand wash powder. <laughs> God, I didn't eat it. That is kind of fun. You could stick this in your purse and when you found yourself out and about and you didn't want to use the cheap stuff in the bathrooms and out to places, you'd have this. That is so fun. Where's my paperwork? Let's see if the paperwork gives me any better ideas than my, you could wash your hands while you're out there. Well, creamy nutmeg hand wash powder refill comes with 100% recyclable aluminum tube. The powder has only five ingredients. All of them are eco-friendly and non-toxic. That's really great to hear considering I just inhaled half of it. Pour 8.5, <laughs> Here's a life's lesson for you from an old lady. Always read the directions. Pour 8.5 ounce of hot water into a soap bottle, add powder, close the pump, shake the bottle vigorously. So this is like, what a great idea. A way to avoid all of that plastic waste with hand washing. This smells fantastic too. I see a wrapped brown thing in here. Anybody wanna put the odds on whether this is for the hand wash? It is, and it is really cool looking. That is really, it's a very heavy glass. It says made up gossip. It's got the little pushy pushy. So I imagine I put this in here with eight and a half ounces of hot water and I have my own choice of scent hand wash. What is the company for this in case you wanted? Oh, <laughs> made up gossip. That's who did this too. So I bet you could go to their site and pick the scents that you liked for your refills and you wouldn't be getting all of that plastic. I love that idea. I always read the instructions. <laughs> okay, next out we have almonds. They are pumpkin spice latte almonds. Shall we try one? Oh, you think so? I agree. Whenever I say that I'm allergic to walnuts, uh oh, I opened it really badly. Whenever I say that I am allergic to walnuts, people are like, oh, all tree nuts? Nope. Walnuts, macadamia nuts. Is that it? I think that's it. Hmm, pine nuts. Hmm, that's good. I don't really get the pumpkin spice. It tastes like a roasted almond. It has great flavor, slightly sweet, slightly salty. Not really getting the pumpkin spice. Babe, are you still working? No, not really. Then come eat some of these nuts. I wanna see if you can taste what they are. Try this and tell me what flavor, you'll, it's, I promise you'll like it. But tell me what flavor you think that is. Can you tell? They're almonds, obviously. I just love making other people eat things. Here, what do you think? Coffee? Yeah, pumpkin spice latte. Did it say latte? You might have nailed it. It did say latte, so yeah, I guess there probably is coffee. Good for you. I was just looking for the pumpkin spice and I couldn't get that, but I didn't even think about the fact that 
There was coffee. I didn't. I don't get. I don't get pumpkin spice. I get the. I get the coffee though right away. Sorry, I didn't even realize that, or I wouldn't have had you do it. He's not a big. It's not a big coffee. Drink. Again, if I had read it right, I would have remembered it said latte, and I would have gotten the uh, coffee, and I wouldn't have had him eat it. He does not love coffee. But yeah, neither one of us got the pumpkin spice. This is Mayana chocolate pumpkin spice bar mini. That is what that looks like. Is it candy, <laughs> or is it a energy bar? That's what we need to know. I'm starving. I skipped lunch and it's 2.30. It's starting to show. <clears throat> we have two, oops, we have two of these. I'm gonna get in one and we'll give it a bite. I guess I could bring him back to taste something good if it's good. Hey, that is what it looks like. It definitely looks like candy, not like a protein bar. It's really big. Mm. That's marshmallow, oh my goodness. It's marshmallow and caramel and chocolate. I'll put the rest of that aside for after my lunch. My lunch is, FYI, go ahead and be influenced. The Rao's, Rao's, how do you say that? R-A-O-S, the people that do the fantastic spaghetti sauces, do soups in a jar. I make a lot of homemade soup, don't get me wrong. I mostly eat homemade soup. But for occasions such as this, where I've let my day get away from me, I keep them around so I don't go totally without lunch. Those Rao's soups are fantastic. I've had the chicken gnocchi and the Italian wedding and I enjoyed them both. <laughs> kind of off point. That was our food for thought for November. We have this really cute pumpkin spice lip kit from Bella Pierre. We got this nice little cigar tube, but it goes with this nice jar. You put this in here with hot water and my flavor is creamy nutmeg, but it's from Made Up Gossip and I bet if you go to their site, that would be a great gift. They probably have this in a million different flavors. Just my guess. We got the pumpkin spice latte almonds from Back Attack Snacks. We mostly get the latte, not the pumpkin spice, but we love almonds, so that's okay. Although he doesn't love coffee. My bad. And we received two of these Mayana pumpkin spice. I didn't taste the pumpkin spice. I got real wrapped up in the chocolate and the marshmallow and the caramel and the fact that it was delicious. Maybe I had too many pumpkin spice lattes and my pumpkin spice sensor is broken. Oh no. Two of these, they are delicious. That is our fun little five box haul. If you have any questions about anything that I went over, let me know below in the comments and I will try and help. Thank you so much for coming by and spending time here on the channel. I hope you are having a lovely holiday season and that I see you again really soon. Take care out there, be safe, and please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you'll know when I have more videos coming out. Have a great evening, guys.